Hello everyone, this is Kulets of Negabytes and welcome to my channel. In this episode, we are going to talk about the drone registration in Taiwan. Okay, so drones that weigh 250 grams or more must be registered with the CAA in Taiwan. The registration number shall be marked on the remote control drone. So it should be on the drone and you have to print. But for that, you have to have uh, a NHI card and a card reader. If you are a resident, citizen in Taiwan for those who don't have an NHI card or ARC I'm going to put a link below and you can check foreigners in Taiwan blog and he actually answered most of the question that you will be asking because he doesn't have an NHI card and an ARC so He's, he can answer most of that question, but in my case, I have an NHI card and ARC. I'm a resident here in Taiwan, and we are going to uh, have a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to register your drone if you haven't registered yet. Uh, in, in my case, I bought my drone in Australia, and there was no registration there, so I have to register my drone here in Taiwan. If you have a registration certificate or license of your drone in another country, then you can use that method that Ed in foreigners in Taiwan use, unless you want to register it the way that I did. Okay. First, you need an IC card reader and a national health insurance card or NHI. Go to this website, drone.caa.gov.tw. If you're using Google Chrome, I advise to right click to translate to English or your national language. If you're a Taiwanese national or a foreign resident in Taiwan and have an ARC and NHI, then this video is for you. If you're a tourist or short-term visa holder in Taiwan, the registration procedure is different. You can check the Foreigner in Taiwan blog, the link is in the description below. Starting March 31, 2020, if you want to operate drone in Taiwan, the drone above 250 grams must be registered, following basic operating rules. If you operate an unregistered drone, you may get fined up to $5,000 US dollars or $10,000 US dollars for those requiring license. First, select natural person and click sign in. The selection changes automatically, so be sure to sign in on the correct option. The next page looks like this. So click on the credential login and health insurance login. If this is your first time, a pop-up window will show and you have to download and install the NHI verification program. So click the download link on step 1. It will open a new tab. Since I'm using Chrome for Windows, I will select the latest version. So the zip file download progress will show below and you can click or find it on your download folder. Unzip it and click on the setup file to install. It will show a welcome for using NHI verification software. Click next. Now it shows the recommended file location. I just click next. It will ask you again before preparing to install, click next. It will now install and close it after the installation. Go back to the website and click the verification link on step 2. It will open the NHI program so plug your IC reader to your USB and install and insert your NHI card. Your name will show in this window, then click verify. If it shows success, you can return to the website. Otherwise, just plug in and plug out your card reader or NHI card until it succeeds. If you want to download the manual, you may click on the link on step 3, otherwise close the pop-up window. While the card reader is plugged in, click on health insurance login. It will open the basic info so you can put your details and 
your password. The phone number must be a landline so you can either input your residential, workplace, guardian, or school's phone number. When done, click confirm and you will receive a verification email with a link to verify your account. And after you verify, go back to the website and input the password if you close the website. Now you're ready to register your drone. Click on the remote drone registration to display options on the left side and select registration application. It will show details and criteria information and if you meet these criteria, then click start. The first step is watching this video. You cannot skip because the questions are related to the information shown in the video. It is in Chinese but the numbers are visible so just take notes. Then it will send you to the question and answer page. Make sure that you're using Google Translate to change the text to English or your selected language. There will be three sets of questions and it will change whenever you refresh or reset. Don't be scared to make mistakes. If the answer is incorrect, you get the opportunity to know the correct answer and you will learn more. It will now bring you to the second step. All your information shows here, so click on add new drone below and will display a pop-up window. Select the brand, model, and write the serial number of the drone. If you're registering a self-made drone, you can select and write the inspection application number in the box. It will now display the drone info and if the information is correct, click determine and click next step. The third step is the data confirmation. It shows your info, the brand, model, and serial number of the drone payment due date and a fee of 50 NTD. Click next and OK. It will show the application number and payment deadline. If you choose online payment, there is a transaction fee of 10 NT or print payment slip and pay at the bank. The application receipt looks like this but that's not what you need when paying the registration so we're going back to the main menu. You need to print the real bills payment receipt with a QR code or just scan using your phone to pay. Go back to remote drone registration and select registration change query. Input the drone info and click query. The application number will show and you can click pay to show a payment slip with QR code. Now it shows like this with a QR code. You can pay at your bank or use Taiwan mobile payment app. You can save the bills payment by clicking on print payment slip. Once payment is made, wait for a few minutes and open remote drone registration, select print registration list. The selection is default to last week. It will show the drone that you have just registered showing the expiry date which is 2 years. The drone details will display here and you need to print the registration label. This label is like an identification card or certification that the drone is registered. Print it and make sure to bring it at all times. Print the registration number and stick it into your drone so it is easier to verify that the drone is registered. Important, since I changed my NHI card after changing my ARC number last January, I have a new number and my account is only linked to the old NHI card. You might not be able to open it using your new NHI card but you can still log in via account login. When I updated my NHI card, I asked the staff if I can hold on to my old one while waiting for the new card so I can use it to claim insurance if I need to go to the hospital. And when I claimed the new one, I was not asked to return the old card. Here I tried the new card and it was not read. Maybe the new ARC is not linked to CAA because the change is still new and some updates may need time. Luckily, I have my old NHI card with me and it made me log into my account. If you need any assistance on doing the registration, you can contact me or we can meet personally and I can assist you. Okay, now that we have finished our registration, we can now start flying our drones. But of course, we have to follow the rules and you have to be mindful. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and if you haven't, please subscribe to get the latest update. Thank you.